here's handful number eight for our foreign coin hunt, world money hunt for eras and varieties. Let me get the uh, tripod set up. We'll take a gander at them. Be right back. All right, here goes coin one. I'm going to try to uh, zoom out a little bit, get more of the coin in here. See much going on here. No. <laughs> Negative there. <clears throat> Twenty five pitas, dirty, damaged. That said sixty four right there, so maybe it's a nineteen sixty four. Nope, nineteen fifty seven. I don't see. Okay, next. I'm not seeing anything. Kind of cool how this looks like a gear. All right. <clears throat> Next. 1969. 10 thinning. Damage on the rim. Not seeing anything on that one. <clears throat> New pens. Ten. Nothing there. Nineteen sixty eight. can see there. It's a fairly modern <coughs> coin here. 2001 Mexican mint some gunk at the bottom there all right not seeing anything another Queen Elizabeth 1971 If any of you see something, <clears throat> you can let me know down in the comments. Another new pence. It's a cool design. If any of you know of any websites for different foreign varieties, eras, if you could put that down in the comments, that would be cool. Because <clears throat> I don't know any of them. 
This one's very slick. 1906. All right. A half penny. Worn down. King Edwards the seventh. That's cool. Kind of like a brass look to it. <coughs> Here's one of our Japanese luck coins. Don't know much about these, but again, from what I've seen, they're between like the 1600s, 1800s. This is very, very thin. Okay. Nineteen seventy seven Netherlands. Very beat up. <clears throat> sure we'll see anything on that. No. Nothing there. Italian. Nose is almost gone here. See? Kind of a weak strike. Unless that's what it's supposed to look like, but I doubt it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I can see this one a little bit better. It's less worn. So we have a person standing, their arm extended, and it looks like a horse in the back. Nineteen ninety one. Some dye deterioration on that. Okay, I don't see anything there. <clears throat> Aruba. Aruba. Nothing. Twenty ten. Don't see anything. No clashing, no doubling, no cuds, cracks, die chips. <clears throat> Don't know where this one's from. I do like the lettering though. That looks doubled. Again, I probably can't see that, but let me see. At least right in here, here, up in here looks blurry. Let me see, over in here. It's so dark and dingy. <clears throat> but I'll say possibly on that. Can't make it out that well. Not really seeing anything on that side. Hey, this is very dark. And dingy. All right, I'll hold this one aside for a possible doubling on the obverse. All right, put that one aside. Pull you back. All right, next is another 
Wow, this one's really worn. Holy smokes. There's almost no design elements. They're all worn away. Get some on this side. Well, it's like completely opposite. This side is actually pretty good strike. And that side is just pretty much slick. Again, look how thin that is. All right. <clears throat> Back in the bag. What do we got here? I love this coin. I don't know. I don't know why. I just like the details of it. It looks just like our Denver mints, mint marks, I should say. 1944. <clears throat> I don't see anything going on with it. There's some minor die cracking in here. But nothing to write home about. One cent. I love the toning, the color. Not seeing anything. All right, in the bag. Pink. What do we have here? Netherlands. Goes this way. <clears throat> Nothing out of the ordinary. Thousand nothing. Two ore. Oh, that's kind of a funky looking too. It looks like a nine right there. It's very strange looking. Denmark, 1941. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. That's just damage. All right. <clears throat> 1976. A pox my or something like that. Not seeing anything going on there. Nope. Negative. There's a modern <clears throat> Canadian. No crown. Crownless Queen. One cent. 2005. I know nothing about it. Maybe a minor die crack right there. In the bag. Can't tell if it's deterioration. We could have some minor, minor, maybe some minor doubling. Again, it could just be strike doubling, though. It's not something that I would probably really hold aside. In the berries there, it looks kind of like strike doubling to me. Die deterioration. Yeah, all right, top of the five possibly, but I tried to shrink down the computer screen, goofball. <clears throat> all right, I don't see anything there really. I don't think that's doubling because it's on both sides of the letters. Uh, 
right, 1958. I'm going to put that in the bag. <clears throat> if I'm wrong, yell at me down in the comments. This one doesn't look like forint. I don't think we've come across this one yet. 1998. No, I don't believe so, but I don't see anything there. <clears throat> Next. This image right here reminds me of um, Christopher Walken where he played, uh, what was this? God help me there. The Headless Horseman. <laughs> Very creepy looking. Nineteen ninety two Sleepy Hollow. That was gonna bother me. The movie was Sleepy Hollow. He played the <clears throat> Headless Horseman. Alright, what do we have here? A shilling. Two shillings. Nineteen fifty four. See anything there? <clears throat> Queen Elizabeth the Second. Not see anything going on here. Damage on the rim. Okay. KG six nickel. Has seen better days. I like this design though with the giant V on the back. Zinc coated steel. On the idea of our 1943 Lincoln Sense Sweeties. Okay, not seeing anything. Again, not that I would know of. I have another one of these Japanese luck coins. <clears throat> I'm not going to find anything on those, I doubt. But. Five pitas. I don't know if we've seen this one before. Hispana. This looks like it could be a commemorative. Nineteen eighty. Don't see anything. This coin is thick. That looks doubled right there. Not crazy. Doubled, but it's worn. But the U, thickness in the U, the N, the I, the D, that looks doubled right there. Anything over here? Not much. Yeah, same over here. So let me bring you a little closer. <clears throat> you can see the thickness here. Definitely on the X, the I, the A. I think, I think that's doubled. Right there it looks doubled. And over here it doesn't appear to be as thick. I could be wrong, but 
that's what I'm going with. Not really seeing much else. Let's flip her over. <clears throat> Nineteen eighty eight. I'll hold that one aside. Next, Cuba. Cuba. Now, if all my think all the other ones that I found are these are like nineteen ninety nine, ninety eight. I don't have anything really. What's going on there? That just damage. Looking at like right in here. Like a five. Yeah, I think that's just damage. There's nothing really in that area that looks like that. Okay. Not seeing anything. <clears throat> I hate this coin. 1942. Can't see anything now. This is cool. I wish there was some separation on these. Super thick lettering. They look thicker than the ones I've seen before, but that R is wicked thick. Um, but the two is thick. I think that's normal. 1943. Could just be the denomination. All right. Not seeing really anything on that. <clears throat> This looks different. Osterreich. Ten Groschen, nineteen sixty four. Is that German? I don't see anything there. <clears throat> Alright, 1971. Good old Irish. Some schmutz on here. I think. Yeah, there's like dried up glue or something on there. Most of it popped off. That's kind of on the inside. Oh, that's off too. <clears throat> Of a cool design. A lot of damage. Not seeing anything. Two more. This one and one other one. Two centesimos. Centesimos. <clears throat> Not seeing anything on that A, on the letters, on the stocks, on the two, all this tape. Uruguay, 1901, so close to an 1800s. Ah. Cool looking coin. <clears throat> Last one. And of course, it's one of these. 1941. All right, let me put that one away. <clears throat> what is So this was a possible doubling here. Every time I put it under here, right in this area, it just looks blurry to me. So I'm going to say that's possible doubling. But then we have this one. That again, I think is <clears throat> doubling as well and there we have it that's our i think eighth <clears throat> handful 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you're learning something or just having fun. These are cool coins for me to look at. So we're running through the box pretty quick. Um, let me know down in the comments if you're liking it. If you're not liking it, um, this won't be forever. Just something that I picked up and wanted to run through. If you are watching but not subscribed, please take a second to subscribe. It's free. Just tap the subscribe button. <clears throat> Be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. It really does help the channel and the videos. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and taking time out of your day. Um, see you on the next one.